Soon, East Tennessee will have a new tool in the overdose crisis. State lawmakers legalized fentanyl testing strips this past summer, which can determine whether a substance contains that deadly drug. Tenure reporter Grace King spoke with the Metro Drug Coalition, which plans to distribute those strips soon. In East Tennessee, authorities say they're finding fentanyl in 85% of overdose deaths. It's definitely a huge problem. Tennessee leaders say early data from a pilot program shows fentanyl strips change behavior. In our state, our data so far shows about 81% of people adjust their use. And it was interesting because it wasn't just we use less. No, no, it was I decided not to use. Metro Drug Coalition wants to see similar success in Knoxville. If individuals know um, that there's fentanyl in their, their drugs, um, hopefully they'll make a, a decision whether or not to even use that drug that they just purchased. The strips typically take 5 to 15 minutes to determine whether a substance contains fentanyl. That's a point of decision there where they could either use less of the drug, decide to throw the drug out completely that they purchased or that batch out, um, use with somebody present, use less, um, or make sure that they have naloxone available. MDC Executive Director Karen Pershing hopes this tool will save lives. We're seeing more and more overdose deaths with fentanyl um, and fentanyl analogs laced in. State leaders agree. We've got to help them however we can. This is a tool. It's not the tool. Um, but is a tool that we're very happy to be able to provide in the state. That was Grace King reporting. Metro Drug Coalition distributes free Narcan at trainings and workshops. They hope to do the same with fentanyl test strips.